Now in this question, we're given this curve here, which is given by the equation y equals 2 sine 2x, all divided by 1 plus cos x. And it's valid for values of x greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to pi upon 2. And we're also given this table of values for the graph and are asked to find out what the value is for y when x is pi upon 8. Giving our answer to five decimal places. Well, you can see I've done it. It comes out at 0 0.73508. Just check that out by putting pi upon 8 into your equation here. But make sure your calculator is in radians mode. All right? Now for the next part, we're asked to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y that we've got in this completed table to obtain an estimate for this area r. And we've got to give our answer to four decimal places. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with the trapezium rule, but if not, there's uh, some tutorials on my website on this. But as a quick reminder, all we do is we divide the area up into strips where we create trapeziums and in this particular example a couple of triangles on the ends. And we can work out the sum of all these areas through this formula here, the trapezium rule formula, which gives us an approximation to the area. It's equal to half the width of a strip, so the width of a strip will be obviously pi upon 8 in this particular example. And then it's the first height, that will be the first value here, plus twice the sum of all the middle heights, that will be that one plus that one plus that one, and then plus the last height, which will be in fact zero. Okay, so we can say then that the area of R is going to be approximately then half the width of a strip. We can get the width of the strip just simply by looking at this interval here. It's going to be pi upon 8. And then we multiply that by the first height, okay, which is clearly going to be the first value in the table, 0. I'm going to put it in as a token that I'm using the formula regardless. okay. And then it's twice the sum of the middle height, so that would be 2 times all these three y values. okay. So it would be 2 times... 0 0.73508 plus the 1.17157 plus the 1.02280. And then we've got to add to this the last height, which is going to be 0. And again, I just put that in just for the sake of it to show that I've actually used the formula. Now if you work this out, you'll find that it comes to 1.15, 0.392 and so on. And we're asked to give the area then to four decimal places. So this is going to be 1.1504 to four decimal places, 4dp. It's worthwhile also mentioning, not that we had to do it for this question, but in some questions we're asked to say, is our answer an overestimate or an underestimate and hopefully you can see from this diagram that in this case it would be an underestimate because it's inside the curve here okay we're missing these little portions of area on the outside okay so just a point worth uh, mentioning at this stage all right so that's uh, that part of the question then